Alrighty, hey guys, this is Garrison over at Massey Toyota. And here in front of me we do have a 2017 Toyota Highlander LE. This one is going to be your base model. You can actually add an LE Plus and that will give you fog lights, um, a rear power tailgate, and that separating um, two-piece hatch where you can pop open the glass as well. But this one's just going to be your base LE. We also do have our turn signal indicators on our mirrors. This is actually one of our pre-end vehicles despite it being a 17. Coming to our wheels, we're riding on Michelin tires, and these are going to be our 18-inch alloys. And then coming around back, you still have that rear wiper, rear backup camera. And then coming in, looking at your key, very simple key, press unlock twice to unlock all your doors. Now coming in, this one does have 479 miles on it. Just go ahead and insert your key right here twist to start and so while that started up we'll take a look at our window sticker now as I said this one was a 17 LE it is in the pre-dawn gray mica with the ash cloth we do have our 2.7 liter four cylinder we're about to take a look at and as far as our options we have the Toyo Guard Platinum the carpet mats clear protection door package as well as phone charger that did give us a new MSRP of 32966 so you are saving a little money getting it here pre-owned and your gas mod is going to be 22 city and 24 out on the highway so let's go ahead and check out underneath the hood now coming in underneath here we do have our 2.7 liter dual overhead cam in line 4 does have dual verbal vibe timing with intelligence and that does produce 185 horsepower, 184 foot-pounds of torque to the front wheels through a six-speed automatic. So let's go ahead and check out the interior before we get too wet. So coming in, we do have that ash cloth as we previously mentioned. This is going to be a six-way manual driver seat. Going ahead and closing up our door right here. Nice padded door panel materials. Padding down below on your armrest with your power windows, locks, and mirrors. A view to the left of the steering wheel, we do have our automatic high beams as well as our windshield wiper de-icer. A little bit of storage down below. And then coming to our steering wheel, this is your three-spoke urethane wrap dual with side bolstering grip extensions. Audio, Bluetooth, and our cruise control down here. And we do have TSSP, Toyota Safety Systems P. And we do have our radar cruise lane departure alert with steer assist. And of course, those automatic high beams and forward collision alert with emergency braking. Four way D pad right here for our center display. Over on the left, automatic headlights. And then over on the right, our variable intermittent speed wipers. Now, let me go ahead and clean the lens right quick, and then we will get back to the rest of the tour. So now that our lens is clean, coming to your dashboard, it's all a nice soft touch stitch material, of course over here as well. And then coming to our audio system, this is going to be your base head unit. On your LA Plus, you will upgrade to an 8 inch touch screen. But coming here, we do have our sources, AM, FM, CD, USB, Bluetooth streaming audio and auxiliary inputs. So still plenty of sources. And then you're going to car, all our MPG data, and then setup is just going to be some vehicle settings. Down below that, our dual zone manual climate controls with your driver and then you can activate your rear zone right here you do have your fan speed temperature in your zones right here very simple system to use if you're not a fan of the auto climate systems in the higher trim levels nice padded little technology shelf and you can actually run your wires down here to your two charging usbs or your auxiliary and um, usb audio inputs for your um, audio system and then another traditional 12 volt outlet Snow mode, traction control right there. Then here's going to be that six-speed automatic with our sport mode and manual shift. Going to reverse, nice rear view camera right here on your touch screen. And then on your V6 models, it will be an eight-speed. Over here, nice cup holders. Padded and stitched armrest with plenty of storage. As you can see, it opens right up with your little shelf right here. 12 volt outlet down there as well. Then come into your glove box, damped with all your owner's manuals in there, and of course your window sticker that is original. Up top, we do have our manually dimming rear view mirror. Mirror and vanity lights on your sun visor that does slide. Some dome lights, as well as some sunglass storage and your conversation mirror. So let's go ahead and check out the rear seat. And now coming back here, we'll go ahead and check out the rear seat. Very easy entry and exit. Now coming to your door panel, all your materials followed through of course with your nice padding up top. Padding down below in your armrest, power window, and your door storage down below. Now with this front seat, set my 5'9 driving frame and these seats slid all the way back. 
We do have plenty of knee room, plenty of foot room down below as well. Dual seat mat pockets, and as you can see, we do have the um, rear seat climate control that you can control back here. Little um, charging USBs down there as well. And then over here to my right, nice padded armrest with some cup holders. Up top, we do have illumination, vents, as well as damped cornering handles with coat hooks. And then checking out your third row, you still also do have the um, illumination and vents back there on either side. So let's go ahead and check out how you access that third row and then the cargo area and then we can wrap up the video. Easiest way to access your third row is going to be on either side. Just lift up on this lever right here and it will allow you to slide your seat forward. Now these seats are in a 60-40 fashion so you can actually slide them independently. So if you'd like that seat to be closer to the front seats, maybe you have a baby seat over there, makes it easier for them to access the baby and such like that. But coming to your third row, as you can see, nice little entryway and it is a three seat bench back there. So we'll go ahead and slide our seat back and let's check out the cargo area. Now coming around back, to open up your hatch, there's a membrane underneath your Toyota logo. Just go ahead and press that and it will pop right open. As you can see with that third row folded down, we do have plenty of room behind your second row and you can fold down the second row in a 60-40 fashion as well to expand cargo even more. But as you can see, this little portion back here behind your third row, if it was up, there still is adequate room. Now underneath your cargo floor, you have a little bit of storage with your jack. Your spare tire will be located underneath the vehicle. Some illumination on this side and as you can see, your third row does have some cup holders. So that's about it back here. Let's go ahead and close up our hatch. And that's about it for this 2017 Toyota Highlander LE. Now if you are interested in this vehicle or another model out here at Massey Toyota, feel free to contact them. All the information is in the description below. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.